How's it going, guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I have a very big announcement to give you guys in my real estate journey. I changed brokerages. I changed the way I'm doing things, and I want to share with you guys on why I chose to do that. Check it out. So just to give you guys a quick backstory on why I decided to change brokerages, primarily being completely honest, I did hit a wall. I came in this game strong. I came in this game, you know, ready to work. But I noticed and I found out that it takes trust. It takes, you know, a certain level of trust that people need to have in order for them to use you as a real estate agent. So I had to take a step back and kind of start to build on that for myself. I've been blessed. I've closed four deals in my first year of real estate, working on my fifth deal currently in escrow but I wasn't seeing any new clientele. At least this market definitely have gotten away from the current clientele that I've been working with. So that definitely messed me up a little bit. Throw me off. I had a lot of great clients that I was working with, you know, um, trying to get them in escrow, but cash is just killing this area and being in Stockton, I just don't have that type of clientele. Someone that can come in and just buy a house for 400,000 straight cash. I haven't got to that point in my career yet. So what I went ahead and did is um, I went ahead and signed on to Redfin. Redfin, basically a recruiter reached out to me, said, hey, I saw your YouTube, I love what you're doing. And I really had to take a step back and you know, the things that he was telling me that they pay for gas, they pay for your showings, they pay for inspections, they pay for you to go to closings. All of these activities I do for free. All these things that you do for free until you get the closed escrow. And I had to really, I had to really realize the importance of me taking care of my bills, me taking care of my family. Um, so I took the Redfin route. You know, they're going to pay me a lot more money up front that I'm not going to see in traditional real estate, which is my biggest need for my family right now. So I chose to do just that. And that's just a little backstory on why I decided to take this route primarily because of the lack of clientele. You know, I wasn't getting the ready clientele that needed for me to, to catapult and to continue to go. Um, like I said, I was blessed to close four deals, but those deals come and go and I was trying to keep going, but this market was just getting way ahead of it, uh, getting way ahead of me. <laughs> paying for your gas, paying for your, all your showings, paying for your inspections, but they also pay for your MLS. They also pay for the dues that you have to keep up with to be a realtor. I, I was thankful, man, that I've been blessed to get the deals that I have and I've been working and grinding, but just wasn't seeing the biggest return, not saying just this large commission, but just the consistency of clientele. Um, I didn't see that in the traditional real estate. And I know that's something Redfin is going to bring me is the lead. So I'll be able to work that and just put my best foot forward. I want to be able to come into Redfin and focus on the business, focus on the leads, focus on being a real estate agent. I don't have to worry about my bills. I don't have to worry about these little things that come about during your real estate transactions or, you know, things that you just, you, you haven't got paid. Yet. I had to make this a little easier for myself. So that's primarily why I chose Redfin. I do a lot of these things on my own, my own marketing, my own editing, my own keeping up with YouTube, everything. And it's, 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 it's gotten hard. It's gotten very difficult to try and manage this and keep up with my clientele and prospect and do what the agent needs to do in order to have business. So I took a step back. I realized I'm going to be in this business for a very, very, very long time. So I had to create a foundation for myself. I've been blessed to have the successes that I have, but honestly, most importantly, I know that I don't fail until I quit. So I'm taking a different approach. And that's primarily why I chose to go with Redfin. I look and see, you know, who are the top producers in my area or in the area that I'm going to be working in. And a lot of agents are Redfin. They have a great training program and I've heard that they had a great training program and it's just going to really help catapult you out of that amateur real estate agent phase. Like I said, I was blessed, man. I, I closed transactions. I represent buyers, I represent sellers, but just having that consistent customer base is just what I didn't have. So I joined a team and I'm, I'm very thankful and happy for this. 
Now, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the interview process with Redfin if you decide to go through this process. It's very simple, pretty straightforward. They're looking for an agent with some experience, but you know, you don't have to be a top producing agent, but I'm sure they're just wanting to know how well you can interact with clientele. So I had my first interview, which was with the recruiter. It went great. She asked you a bunch of questions about, you know, how long you've been doing business, what have you done, and you know, what are your successes and what are your downfalls? And so that's kind of what you go over with the recruiter. Then the next step is having an actual virtual interview where I met with my actual team manager and the marketing manager and it was a great interview, man. You know, I have a passion for helping people. I have a passion for doing this. So I knew I was presenting myself well. And some of the trick questions that they that they asked, you know, I definitely was able to able to identify and, and answer correctly. So just so you guys know, there's two big questions that you might stumble across um, when they ask you. So one question was, so they're just going to ask you simple things like, if a client was to approach you and they say, how's the market? They're going to, you know, they're going to ask you, they're going to expect you to answer that question. So how I responded on how's the market is, well, it depends if you're looking to buy, if you're looking to sell, if you're looking to buy right now, it's the best time in this Bay area because we're seeing higher homes stuck on the market and they're in, and it's leaving a little wiggle room for negotiation. Selling is definitely a great time because a lot of, not a lot of people are buying right now um, in those high price ranges. So we're going to start to see the values go down on these homes. So it's best to get the highest value in selling right now, if you thought about selling in two years. So that's basically how I answered that question. So you want to be prepared for those little questions, but they're, you know, they're, they're, they're there to get you another question where he, he thought he got me, which I could tell, but he says, so if someone says, um, is it a good time, bad time or, or just not a, a time to buy at all right now? And the way I answered that was, well, I always advise my clients that you always just want to be ready. You never know when the house that you just, if the house that you just, just completely want comes on the market, you just want to be ready and pre-approved to be able to put an offer for that house. So that's kind of how I answered those questions. And obviously I got the, the job. So just so you guys know where I am at exactly in my Redfin phase, I haven't started yet. I wanted to do this video just to show you guys that I've changed and I've completely switched, completely switched from a traditional brokerage to a salary brokerage for my family so that I can continuously provide the things that they need, but I can do what I enjoy and sell real estate and not feel like I have to go back to a job. And so it was cool that it was like, okay, well, if I'm going back to work, at least I'm going back doing what I'm already doing. So I really want you guys to take heed on this video. This video is really about, you know, sometimes you just have to take a step back and take a different approach towards things. I'm just grateful, man. Very thankful, very excited for my journey. And so where I'm at in the Redfin phase, I've gotten through the interview. I've gotten through all of the information when it comes to transferring my MLS, uh, submitting all of my documents, submitting all paperwork, my license information, um, good standing information. I sent, I, I paid for my new MLS. I'm leaving Stockton, going to Oakland. So I completely ready to start. Uh, my start date is May 10th, but I wanted to give you guys this video. So you guys just kind of understand the difference and you know why I made this change, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited to grow, very excited to continuously get better and become a better agent so I can provide my clients with just phenomenal service. And I think that's something Redfin is going to be able to help me with, not only just with the leads, but with my service as well. Your commission is solely based on your service. And that's one thing I kind of had to get with because let's just face it, a lot of realtors, once they get the signature, the service kind of just goes down. So that's basically where I'm at in my Redfin process. I definitely will keep you guys updated. They are sending me my equipment. I get a laptop, I don't know what that is, uh, but I'm just giving you guys the basic start. I'm still in my Tom Ferry coaching, if you guys are still wondering able to take this coaching and continuously grow and, and, and go into a field that's going to be able to provide for my family. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys took heed on something. It's okay to, to, to redirect. Just don't quit is all that matters. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like the video. If you liked it, it's okay. Yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I start May 10th. You guys will get all the videos of, you know, my first day, 
um, me opening, you know, my equipment, the things that you get as a lead agent with Redfin. One thing I do want to let you guys know, I am not an associate agent. I am not a, um, a agent that's partnered with Redfin through another brokerage. I am a full-time employee with Redfin. And I am a buyer's agent in the Oakland, California area. Make sure you guys subscribe and you guys have a great day.